Thursday, 2nd April, and we continue with our dialogue presentation of listening. We spoke yesterday at great length about the importance to listen carefully, thoughtfully, prayerfully, attentively to our little ones. Today we want to see that listening can expose us adults, big people, to certain language that young people use, certain similes, metaphors, idioms, and can assist us in understanding their jargon. Not all of them, as I mentioned yesterday, are articulate like us. Not all of them use proper English and standard English, and we have to be mindful of that, right? Father, you're looking sick. Oh, that means you're looking good. Long time when somebody says you're sick, you start to run by a doctor. You're looking cool. You're this. And we have different, right? So we have to understand what are they trying to convey without criticizing, without judging. Because they are our children and we want to love them more and more. Even when adults think that they are fully equipped and can appreciate the jargon of the young people, I still would like to caution you because children's jargon is hard for adults to master. And even when they learn them correctly, they often sound strange when we try to speak. So what I'm saying is we are listening to young people. We want to accommodate them. We want to embrace them. We want to love them. But we're not trying to be like young people because they're not stupid and they're lower. Look, father, a big old man, but he's trying to be one of us. No. I old, I big, I'm a grandfather. Let me stay so. I am your parent. I want to listen to you. So there, there's a little bar, a barrier. Not great, but... There is one. So we don't want to pretend as though we are young people. We want to understand them. So how do we listen? We are listening with this part of the body, the heart, the mind. We are totally engaged. We want to be attentive. And moreover, we want to be discerning, socially discerning, spiritually discerning, intellectually discerning. What is my daughter saying? What is my son saying? What are my children saying? And it may mean that we have to put our beliefs on the side burner or we may have to throw it off the stove one time because we want to listen and we don't want to start to judge and say naughty little old boy, naughty little young girl, naughty. No, no, no. We're listening and we don't want to be God. We leave it up to God to judge. It means being sincere and genuine. Tell me as it is. And we want them to come and expose their hearts to us. It means getting into children's life and seeing the world from their perspective. We are seeing it this way. They perhaps are seeing it that way. So listening is more than acquiring qualities of empathy and sympathy, I feel so. No. It means being professional. And as I mentioned yesterday, trying to be false could backfire in our face. You got to go feel you're trying to be one of them. It is highly complicated, complex, but important. And we are listening and we are taking little notes, mental notes of the eye contact bodily movement if possible we want to rephrase so we can understand them clearly listening also helps us to, to obtain a better and clearer understanding of the perspective the view the vision the hope the ideal of our young ones and that is what we would like to achieve during this time let us take cognizance of the fact that today's children will determine the future of the world, determine the future of the Caribbean. 
and therefore let us listen attentively prayerfully professionally let us listen to them with love they are our children and we love our children we want to bless our children and ask god to love them for we know that jesus loves little children amen amen amen